All the walls at Techism Studio were filled with some kind of tech on them, except this wall near to the door. After thinking for a while, I decided, let's add some tech to this wall. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to make my own sensor-based tic-tac-toe game, which you can play by just punching into the holes of the board. So let's see how to make it. So for making this project, you will need an Arduino Mega board, which will be used as a central controller. Then you will also need a set of 9 proximity sensors, RGB LED strip cutouts, BC547 transistors and 1K resistors. Along with that, you'll also require a couple of male headers and female box strips, a DC socket, a buzzer, a push button, a on-off switch, and in the end, you'll need two power adapters, one for 5V supply and another for 12V supply. Now, after getting all the components, you need to connect them all according to the schematic which is shown in the article whose link you can find in the description of this video. Now this project really has a lot of components and a lot of connections so I just designed my own custom PCB for this project and gave its order directly to GLC PCB. Ordering PCBs online made very simple by GLC PCB. You just need to upload the Gerber file of the PCB project, select the color masking of the PCBs and place your order. That's it, by just following these simple steps, you'll be getting your own custom PCBs delivered at your doorstep. So try ordering your own custom PCBs from GLC PCB to make your project look neat and less complex. After receiving the PCBs and shouldering all the components on it, our complete PCB looks like this. Here we have male headers for connecting the sensors and female box strip for connecting the LED strips. So that was all about the hardware part of the project. Now let's jump on to Arduino ID and observe the code for this project. So this is the code for this project and explaining this code will be a really very tedious task as this code is very long. So rather than explaining the code for this project, what I will do is I'll explain you how this project works. And as soon as you understand the working of the project, you can easily understand the code by just having a glance over it because each and every functions and lines in the code is properly commented. So it will be very easy for you to understand the code after you understand the working. So as of now, I'll simply select the right board, which is the Arduino Mega board in my case. I select the right port and simply hit the upload button. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded. Now let's just move on to the next part, which is installation of this project. So this project is made with the help of 3x3 wooden box, which we got custom made from a nearby carpenter. Got slits and holes in each box for sensors and LED strips and got painted it with a black spray. One by one, we attached sensor in each box from the back and glued it in the place with the help of hot glue gun. After that, we stick the alloy strip cut out at the top of each box. And after making the connections of all the sensors and the LED strips with the main controller, we are ready with all the wiring of this project. So after that, we just drilled out two holes onto that same wall, inserted the nails in it and hang the complete project on it. After we stick the PCB used for this project near to this wooden frame and now the wall looks very interesting with a simple yet fun project. Now before testing this project, let me guide you with a very important connection that we missed out while designing for this project. So earlier we thought to manually reset this board as soon as the game gets over, okay? So anyone wins or it's a draw match, we need to reset this uh, whole project and we have a push button for resetting this board. But later on we decided let's just make it automatic. So as soon as the game gets over, the board should automatically get reset. So for that purpose, we connected the GPIO 12 pin of the Arduino Mega board with the reset pin of the board. We tweaked the code a little bit, re-uploaded it and now we are ready to test this project in action. So now let's give 12 volt supply to the PCB and 5 volt supply to the Arduino board and let's play our tic-tac-toe game. So now the question is, how to play this game? Well, it's very simple. So the player just need to punch inside any of the box and for the first player, the LED will turn in red and for the second player, the LED will turn into green. Now whenever any player wins, that particular sequence will blink for 5 times along with the buzzer. After the match gets over, the game will automatically reset thanks to the GPR 12 of the Arduino board. And in case there is a draw match, all the boxes will start blinking with a separate buzzing pattern for 7 times continuously and then resets itself and the game goes on and on. 
So this is how you can play the sensor-based tic-tac-toe game developed by our team. So that was all the testing done from our side. Now let's allow the expert to test this game and give their review in the end. And in the meantime, just hit the like button as this is the last project of 2020. So if you really love this project, just hit the like button. Give the special treatment to this last video of 2020. Hit the like button and also let me know in the comments about which was the favorite project of yours in 2020? The favorite Techie SMS video which you liked the most in the year 2020? Do let me know your feedback in the comments of the video. And now let's allow the experts to play the game. 3, 2, 1, go! So Arjun, how was this game according to you? I haven't seen this game in my life. This is so amazing and interesting. And I want to play again. Yeah, Did you? I love this game. <laughs> So that was it about the last project of 2020. Now anyone of you are interested in learning about how to make your own home automation system from scratch using the Node-RED, then do join TechSMS membership at a very reasonable rate in which I'm teaching this whole concept from scratch. So do join if you're interested in it. That being said, ending this video here and I hope this new year, this 2021 comes with a lot of positivity with it and uh, may this 2021 proves the best year for all the peoples out there in the world and with that thought this is Sachin Sony signing off and now just wait for my next video to explore learn share with me Techie SMS.